All right, guys, May here with another quick video. Today, I wanted to show you my FLIR 1 Gen 3 thermal camera for smartphones. This camera can be used for all kinds of purposes, such as home inspections to check leaks behind the walls or for ghost hunting at abandoned buildings. I actually needed something to check the internal moisture and temperature levels of some food that I was freeze drying for long term storage. And I heard people talking about this FLIR 1 camera, so I decided to give it a try. One of the trickiest parts of freeze drying food for long term storage is to make sure the food is completely dry, not just the outside, but all all the way inside otherwise i'd be spending money buying food and lots of time prepping and processing basically for nothing i learned this the hard way when i freeze dried some chicken and i didn't realize the pieces weren't completely dry so i packed it all up and then a few weeks later when i went in to check on it it turned out the entire batch was spoiled and i had to throw it all out this camera has really helped me avoid all that food waste i can now confidently freeze dry my food knowing that it will last long term when properly prepped the camera is lightweight and hooks onto the phone very easily you will want to make sure that you buy the right one that fits your phone i have an iphone so i got the one that connects to ios there's also a free mobile phone app that i use when operating the camera to detect the temperatures of the food that i'm drying in either celsius or fahrenheit when checking the food that i'm drying i can see the colors to see whether or not there are cold spots if i see dark blue or purple color that means the inside is still cold and not completely dry when i see yellow or orange that tells me the food is dry it also records the temperature of the areas that i'm measuring this has been a huge time and money saver for me if you are in the market for a great quality thermal camera that is convenient and can be used with your smartphone then you probably want to look into this